they require a lot of shoulder. No matter if it's throwing or pitching, they use a lot of shoulder. When we play wall ball, when the ball is suspended above the head, the ball is resting in between both the, the pads of your fingertips, and you straighten it up against the wall as fast as you can, we are incorporating grip through the hands, grip through the forearm, we are getting work through our deltoids, core is being suspended. As we know, our arms and our legs are our extremity. Everything geared around us is our core, that is our center. So while you are repeatedly bouncing that ball off the wall and that reaction time, you're incorporating, once again, strengthening your fingers and your hands through your forearms, which is your grip, through your shoulders, which is one of your dominant uh, muscles being moved, used in that game, and your core, which is everything. You'll see a lot of athletes not have their body in the right position, meaning you need to have the hips down. You want that spine to be locked in a nice little um, slightly vertical column. A lot of kids will have their hips um, underneath to where it's straight down, to where we want that to be you know, perpendicular to the body. And when they're not able to sit up under, have their hips underneath them, you know, you'll see strain in the lower back. That's only because that core has now been repositioned. It's not in its natural um, position. I like to do two sets of eight. Then if I'm really coming in, have an athlete coming in that I really want to get a good cardio burn, we'll go three sets, 15 seconds.